it's the gold medalist from the Youth Olympic Games, Li Shi Feng of China, up against Anna's Antonsen, who was a silver medalist at the World Championships back in 2019. He's in his third All England semi final. Now, this is the men's singles draw, and you can see by quarterfinal stage three players from China, two from Malaysia, and only three seeds, one in the top half of the draw at that quarterfinal stage. By semi final stage, just one seed, and that was the 2021 winner, Li Zijia. The bottom half of the draw, incidentally, that semi final was a battle of the former champions because not only had Li Zijia won in 2021, Shi Wu Qi is a two time finalist, having won in 2018. But we are guaranteed an all unseeded final because the two players we are about to see are both unseeded and Shi Wu Qi is already through to the final. To the arena. Give it up for Chinese. Li Shifang of China won the gold medal at the Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires in Argentina back in 2018. He is competing in his first ever All England Championship. In fact, it's only his second ever Super 1000 tournament. His first was the Malaysian Open earlier this year. And here he is in the semi-final. And semi -final. let's have a massive Birmingham Remarkable. welcome for his opponent from Denmark, Anders Antonsen. Anders Antonsen, twice a world championship medalist, silver in Basel in 2019 and bronze in Welva in 2021. This is his seventh consecutive All England Championships and it's a third semi-final. Well, he's looking a little serious as he walks onto court. This is his first semi-final of the year. In fact, four tournaments prior to this and he lost in the second round of all four. This is a big step forward in the road to recovery from Anna Zantonsen. Now, this will be just a second meeting between these two players, and Li Shi Feng won the Li only Xi previous Feng. encounter, which Black was in the Tom Thomas Cup Black at for the you. group stage. And as you this saw, is red. Li Shi you Feng won in three thrilling okay, games. Yes, it was an hour and 21 minutes. So, Hannes Antonsen gets his wish about the end. Well, the last of our semi-finals. What a semi-finals day it's been. Symbols earlier today, the earlier this evening, I should say, between Tyson Ying and Say Young was a classic. I wonder if this will be the same. Li Shi Feng, as you can see, is only 23 years of age from Yangchang, the capital of Jiangxi province, the landlocked province in the southeast of China. 182 which is just about six foot. So he's tall for a Chinese athlete. Prior to this All England, he'd never won a match in a Super 1000 tournament. At a career high of 14, he went up six places at the beginning of this week after being in the final of the German Open last week. So he's looking for a second final in consecutive weeks. And it was a repeat of last week's final in the first round, but he got the better of Ng Ka Long, who had to retire. Quarter final against Ng Si Yong, who in the second round had beaten the defending champion, Victor Axelsen. Anna Zantensen will turn 26 next month. He's currently 18 in the world ranking. And he has been as high as two, four weeks from the end of September last year.
So he has been beset with injury troubles over the last year or so. And his matches, the 25-year-old beat his childhood friend and training partner, Rasmus Gemka, in Ready the first round. Play. Then last year's beaten finalist, Laksha Sen, and came from 5-11 down in that second game against the Indian player. Three games against the Olympic bronze medalist, Anthony Ginting. 21-17 in the deciding game in an hour and 13 minutes. So our umpire, Eda Dito of France, and Alan Crow from England, the service judge. So the last of our semi-finals, the second men's singles. Who will join Xi and Chi in the final tomorrow? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Anders Antonsen, Denmark. And on my left, Li Shifeng, China. <laughs> Anders Anton Sen to serve. Love all. Play. descended on the utility arena during that opening rally. Well, Chris, I was saying that this man, Anas Antonsen, has really had his injury problems over the last 12 months or so. In fact, since the beginning of 2022, he's withdrawn from 11 of the 21 tournaments that he's entered. And so he's withdrawn from more tournaments than he's actually played. It's a very good point you're making there, Jill, because he's had three very tough matches in this tournament. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not 100% sure where his injuries have been. I've heard some abdominal and some lower limb, but I don't know exactly what it is. But is his body fully fit? Um, but the other thing is momentum, as in the confidence. When you are winning tournaments or winning matches, you become more confident in it everything just falls into place and as you said he's pulled out of more tournaments than he's played so this result in itself is phenomenal considering the amount of matches he's actually played yeah but when you talk of momentum Li Shi Feng having been in the final last week in Germany in Mulheim he's won all of his matches in two straight games here this week in Birmingham and I thought in his quarter-final against Eng Si Yong that he was absolutely superb. I would definitely agree. I'd say he was in almost turbo mode. He looks so fast. And I would say when you look at some of his results, it's almost like every couple of months he seems to be getting that bit better, that bit better. He's one of the young Chinese hot prospects. And I mean, what, the, the amount I've seen of him, he, he looks very, very good.
Tactically astute player is Anna Zantonson. I do think a lot with Anders is um, momentum and confidence because there was a patch where he almost got to the point where he was unbeatable. There were some times when I feel he should have should have lost some really close matches, but he had the momentum of winning and he just kept winning and he you know he got to two in the world, which is an incredible achievement. shot back to the nets when you're taking it that low is really very special well played by Li Shi Feng and the quality as well it was so tight yesterday in the quarter-final was exemplary. And that's another one where the accuracy could not have been better. I would agree with you there, Joe. I mean, it, it, it literally can't get better than that. opportunities with the cross-court drop shot from the round the head position that one say the speed from Li Shi Feng and the, the aggressive style of play is amazing and I do think the point you made Jill in regards to his previous matches that haven't gone on for that long um, if he is fresh and he can maintain the speed I think it's a it's going to be a tough challenge for Anders, who's definitely been on court for a lot longer in the All England than Li Shi Feng.
service over. Four. your point, Chris, of how, how long Amos has been on court. He's been on court for three hours and ten minutes, whereas his opponent has only been on court for one hour, 41 minutes. So, the first challenge of this men's singles, clearly wide. Correction. It's a good challenge. And I think that's good umpiring, actually, as well, because uh, Li Shi Feng, he actually took a bit too long to uh, challenge, but it's because I think he thought that the, the line judge actually signalled out because yeah. he clenched his fist, and then all of a sudden he realised, and you could see he was surprised. Yeah. shot here of Anders is, is one of his best. Yeah, it's one of his favourites, isn't yeah. it? No question. Malcolm Pearson on the right as we look at them, his coach. And the other chap, I understand, is his psychologist. Well, it's Anna's Antonsen who's been faulted, and I think that's for interfering. I think you're right, Joe. He interfered with his racket, I think the umpire said. You're not allowed to impede your opponent from playing the shot that they're trying to play. Let's have another look. Eight, four. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fault. That's a great call by the umpire. I would agree yeah. with you there, yeah. It's, this, is, this is the difficult thing in that situation. I understand Anders is... But I feel like Anders can't get it back, and the only thing he can try and do is almost put his opponent off, and I do agree with you. I think that's a good call from the umpire. This graphic is definitely over the net. No question. And that's, you're not allowed to invade your opponent's side of the court, and that's obviously impeding or putting off Li Shi Feng playing his shot. I do think there's going to be two kind of individual battles as such. I think for Anders, as you pointed out, Jill, just the difference, as in he's been on court almost twice as long as his opponent, so there's going to be definitely a physical aspect he's going to have to contend with. And I think for Li Shi Feng, the point you made about, you know, it's his first All England, this is it's such a big occasion for him. But is that going to play a part? Is he going to get a bit nervous when he gets closer to possibly the finishing line? Yeah, that's a very good question. And we don't have the answer until we get to that situation. But he looks very relaxed at the moment, doesn't he? I would agree. I was saying he's flowing, he's looking good, he's moving, he's looking confident. At the moment, he looks very mature as a player. Missed it. 11 so to the mid-game interval. And it's a six-point advantage for Li Xinfeng of China. Sun Jun, his coach, he is the All England Men's Singles Champion in 1998. 
varmepumperne rundt. Og så indtil videre har han ikke stået nogen krydsplads. Indtil han ikke indtil begynder at stå krydsplads, så tænkte han, okay, det kommer nok lige, så det er også lige. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Coach, return to your chest. Lige feng on court. Pretty much been a perfect Play. start for Li Shi Feng. Service over. Six eleven. Yeah, what a return. What do you think Cantonson's being told here by your comparison? Danish definitely isn't good enough to know what he said. Um, it's, it's a tough one. I mean, at the moment, he's got to try and contain uh, Li Shifeng. It, he's, he's forced a few of the chances he's had. He's made a few unforced errors. I mean, I watched the match yesterday against um, Jinting, who's one of the fastest players in the world, and I say, uh, Anders contained him. He kept the same speed, which I haven't quite seen today. Now, is fatigue going to play a part? Definitely. Um, at the moment, I'd say Li Shi Feng is looking a lot quicker than, than Anders. Um, can Anders slow him down? Can he slow the game down? Can he change the style? I think these are going to be interesting things that we're going to see as the game progresses. It's, and he gets that half chance here. He's hitting it so clean. with a half smash focusing on the angle that was a beautiful cross court net shot really good here from Anders that's a love this one down the line lovely shot yeah put slice on that hasn't he longest rally indeed Definitely gone wide. 
So the silver. 14, 9. See him move, it was that quick. It was almost like he hovered there. He did so well to get that one back. And in that rally, Anders tried a few times to just change the speed. He started off the rally at lightning speed and then he slowed it down with the big high lifts and he was going in and out to try and disrupt Li Shi Feng's rhythm, but it didn't really work. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it looked, it looked close to the line and the angle right, it's very hard to tell, but I think that's the reason why. Yeah, I think sometimes you hope and then you realise it's in. But I've got to say, at least you think, I mean, it's amazing to think he's at the beginning of his journey for his badminton career. And as you highlighted earlier, Jill, you know, it's his first All England, his second ever uh, 1,000, I believe. He's out there like a confident, you know, he's, and he's been on tour for 10 years, the way he's playing. It's incredible. Oh, that's a good angle. Well, after that rally, no. Antonsen appeared to hold his back. I hope that was just an itch and not a, a pulled muscle. was going to hit it. 18, yeah, I think it just kept no. going. I do think the drift's just edging that way and any high shots, the drift just keeps taking it. I do think this game now is obviously sneaking away from, from Anders, which just means the task's even bigger because to win this in three games is so tough when you highlight it. He's been on court for nearly twice as long as his opponent so far in this tournament. Nice block. is decisive in this opening game. saw from earlier in the match, the skillful, deceptive return and then a great spin net. There's a challenge here now for Li Shi Feng. Li Shi Feng challenges for in. I'm on the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 
Exchange. Spinning net shots of the opponent's spinning net shot. And it is now game point opportunities for Li Shi Feng. Opening game 21 11 to the First Chinese youngster. 21 11. 23 minutes for the opening game, and my goodness, this young man from China is looking impressive at the moment. Jeg kan godt se, at han slog mere på kryds og tværs, som vi snakkede om, når han har med det, at han, at han prøver at variere det mere. Ja. Jeg skal ind i en anden tur der, så spiller vi til banebanen. Så skal jeg forstå med at spille den der under den kant, der op i hans forhold. Vi ser efter mit eget angreb. Second game, level, play. So here we go, second game, what can the Dane do in response to that wonderful opening game by Li Xinfeng? a lot wrong really for it to be 21 11 i think it was just a case of li shi feng was very impressive as well, isn't it, Chris? I mean, he was so fast back, so he could really get behind it and play this smash. Yeah, I mean, his movement is so fluid, so that when he strikes the shuttle, everything is so smooth. The way he's moving at the moment, I mean, could it well, it, it could well be the stat you used, Joe, of, you know, Antonsen's played for twice as long because Lee, Lee, Lee Shifeng's looked so fresh and quick and agile. So it's over.
That's where for me, Anders has just got to be careful because that's I feel the drifts going that way as we look at it. He's just got to be careful of that corner. It's the danger corner because if he hits there, the drift keeps going. Especially cross court. I've read the drift the other way. From right to left. Can't be that bad then the drift if we both read it differently. Maybe maybe it's the, the slightly different angles we're at. I don't think it is, but I'm trying to find an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good judgment, man. Nice backhand. Quick forward, isn't he? He uses those long legs, it's one a giant step and then a lunge towards the net. This change of pace here, that is incredible because Anders has taken it quite low and he spotted that and Leach, you think, is on that so quick. And this really is danger time for Anna's Antonsen. 6-1 the advantage to Li Xifeng. Supposed to be a quick towel, but I think both players have taken a fraction no. longer. Maybe they had a misunderstanding of what it was. I think we all got a bit confused what was going on. So the big problem now is for Anders. Seven, Doubt is going to hit his mind. He's lost the first game 21 11, and he's 7 1 down against someone who's playing incredibly well. He's going to start to question everything, and this is what he's not got to do. He's got to keep believing it is still possible. Well, I think that he's he will still believe. I think Hamilton has a lot of self-confidence. He, he really does believe in himself. I think that's so integral because you have to believe. Because if you don't believe in yourself, you know, no one else is going to. And that's where often you see the biggest comebacks by the people with the, the most um, self-belief. Because it's one of the most important things as an athlete. Not arrogance, but self-belief. You've got to believe that you can win.
a really, really powerful, sharp smash from Yushi Funk. And he Nine, follows it up two. with a viciously spinning net shot. Look at that. Antonsen had to let it come out of the tumble, out of the spin, before he tried to play it. Otherwise, there's a danger of hitting the feathers first, and then you get no control of the shot. I do think that Anders has tried to play Netsho in the wrong situation. He's got to try and put it in the sky and start again, because the, the shot's just too good. It's good there from Anders. This is such an important time right now, because if he goes into this break 11-3, 11-4, or something like that, it's going to be so tough to keep believing that it's possible. Spotted somebody with a flashlight on their phone. at that look at the shuttle then look down to the line get your spatial awareness by the time he played it it was really a little too late service over 10 4 from this man, Li Shi Feng. And he goes to the mid-game interval with a seven-point advantage, having already won the first. So it's really now or never, as far as Anna Zantonson is concerned. It's got to start closing down this gap. Feng, like he's, yeah, he's, he's so dominant in the mid court. He's aggressive, rear of the court. He's moving so well. Any half chance, he's putting so much pressure on. And I feel like at a stage, Anders is going to start to think, what does he have to do?
Oh, that's sensational. Seven, twelve. This is an incredible shot here by Anders. Double action, unbelievable shot. Slight momentum shift happening here. Thank you. Players, Michael Coles. So, yeah, all of a sudden, Anders has come alive and he's playing incredible. I think probably the last four points, he's really upped his level. Hypothetical because he did get his racket to it, and yet he didn't get it back. Oh no, I'm sure that was going out.
has gone on. Well, Antonsen waving his left arm in the air. And I suspect that means you should have given it more height. He did that one. But this one that goes long plays it very flat and then sort of waves the left arm in the air. And it was clearly long. Oh, no, maybe... Yeah. Does that give it more height or did he catch the lights in his eye or something? I think he's saying a little bit more height because then it won't go out. It could just be a frustration with himself. But I do think, yeah, he's saying just give it a little bit more height. It's going wide. A super shot. And I think there's signs that Li Shi Feng is beginning to tire. Definitely been a momentum shift, and that is brilliant there from Anders. Something just a bit different. A bit of variation, something that Li Shi Feng doesn't expect. Just three points in it. Seven points in it at the mid-game interval. Maintaining the attack with the round the head jump smash and then the follow-up is so quick. Look at that. Wonderfully athletic play. And he takes the next shot so early, but he's so composed. It's the one after the smash when he steps forward here. She takes it early, nice and calm, but the placement, such an awkward place where he's hit that for Anders. Yeah, and there's a bit of reverse slice on it, isn't there? So. Yeah creates a bit of disguise as well. And 
Hintonson's trying to go all out attack. He's trying to up the pace. Brilliant. 14, 17. That's a beauty. Even got the net caught. I'd say the level now Anders is playing at is pretty much as good as it gets. The only thing is when you're playing that good, don't know if a few mistakes are going to creep in. Because I feel like his margin is so tight. Think of that shot, he got a net cord and nearly on the line. the straight push down his forehand side. And there was a big gap across court. Yeah, it's not deep enough or high enough, that push from Nishi Fenk. This is an amazing comeback from Anders, no matter what, being so far down at one point to coming back. Pretty much within touching distance. Yeah, only two points in it now. Oh, he's calling for the doctor. I don't know what the problem is. Well, in my opinion, this is happening too often at crucial moments. Calling for medical timeout. I think he had an issue with his toe in the uh, German Open. Maybe a blister or something. See, he's got a reasonable amount of strength. I'm not sure. I mean, it can't be a blister, he's putting ice spray on it. Unless that's a new method to sort out a blister. Fung to get his sock back on and his shoe back on. He's not exactly hurrying. Tough thing for Anders now is to keep his focus. He was on such a roll with momentum, with what he was doing, the way he was playing. Now this break, will he be straight back into the focus that he had before this, in this intermission or this injury break? Yeah, well, that's the whole point, isn't it? It's Dane was on a roll, and therefore it's an opportune moment for the Chinese player to ask for a timeout, medical timeout. Well, you can hear what the crowd think of it. Points. 
seven of the last nine points. He's back level. 17 all. And the nerves are definitely building now for Li Xifeng. When he had the big lead, it was all looking calm and composed, and now it's just tense and it's tight. Full momentum shift. Feng does remind me a little bit of his coach, Sun Jun. Kind of full out attack, really dangerous overhead, loads of power and speed. And there's return the shuttle. Return the shuttle. Now. Now. It's hair damage though. 1817. Well, it's all rather intense at the moment, isn't it? One player wanting to change the shuttle, the other not wanting it. Getting so tense, and I mean, Anders is literally, it was almost like he put it on the line himself. That is such an accurate smash. Thank you. On the board, Sushi Fink. The game has got so compact because both players don't really want to move the shuttle around, they just want to play net and try and then get the lift so they can hit the smash. 18 Crucial point. It's a tussle of no lift, and he's taken that chance, Anders, really well. Well, three times in this second game, Anders Antonsen has been seven points behind, and now at this crucial stage, for the first time, he goes into the lead. That's gone long. Two game point 20. opportunities. Game points, 18. And I do think it's a combination of Anders definitely upped his game, but I do think also maybe when, when the end was in sight for Li Xifeng, did he tense up a bit? Did he get a little bit nervous? Eight of the last nine points to Anders Antonsen. Two game point opportunities. That's well Seven saved. 1920. What a point this is. Thank you. Nineteen twenty. Second game point opportunity for Antonsen. Let. And there's. Well, he looked to be ready and then point. said he wasn't ready. 
tension getting to everyone. One game all. 21-19, the second game. Having been seven points adrift on three separate occasions in that second game. What a remarkable comeback by Anna Zantensen. Exactly an hour this has been in progress. And it's one game all. Also, 他打完的话他也打了很远他在一个就是说你的正手他直接守住你了你没有皮球前面两个是正手皮球基本上不敢输他们就是在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在在
than you're deemed to have been ready. I think the only thing in his favour is the umpire called, did call the let quite early, but you're right, it was strange then that Anders did move. And Lee Shifang responds with another backhand cross court neck shot. Look at this. That is superb. And then Lee Shifang at the end of the rally he even gives Anders a little stare. See that? Yeah. On court. are coming in now. Yeah, they certainly are. is now for me. No, no, the reason no, I said no, no, no. Lee Shi Feng was looking a bit nervy was because he was, he was just using power, he was just smashing, whereas now he's using some variation and he's got it all. Martinson saying that his uh, feather broken. It's the important thing now for Anders to keep his concentration. No matter how frustrated he is, we're not changing the shuttle. Yeah. That's what he was doing in the opening game until the first half of the second. You should think. Threading the smashes down the line. He leaps from the base position in the centre of the court to play that round the head smash. Look at this. Incredibly That's athletic. Amazing. But for me, the reason he can is because if you see where, when he's striking the shuttle, he is considerably inside the core, which means the lift, is, the lift is quite short. Whereas he was trying the same thing at the end of the second game when the lifts were much better. Five, to return it, just to kind of rub in how amazing that shot was. Uh, well, you don't see better than that. That's absolutely magnificent. Play. has given the Chinese player belief once more because when he was love three down I thought there was a danger of him 
Almost imploding. Yeah, I'd agree. And it's amazing how how tense this third game is already, and it's only 6-4. Six, 4-6. Four. Four, six. Singles are so hard. There's only once where I think I've ever seen uh, a player change racket in singles mid rally, which was Victor, which was quite incredible to see. A sky the lift, dashed off court, grabbed another racket, and came back on. Five, six. too hard he's too tense he could hit that 80 percent power and i don't think anders would have any chance of getting that back just snatched at it That's one he's got to be so careful of Lishi Feng because I, I do feel the drift is going that way. And when it's cross court, it seems to take it even more. It's just some of these, we've had three cheap points there. That's right. Seven, seven, both of them perhaps a little nervous. Seven, four. That would be very understandable. It wasn't as stiff. I don't even think he tried to hit it full power, but he doesn't need to. Yeah, it was when he played back to the net. Look, he's hovering, hovering, waiting to pounce. Very sharp on that. There from Anders, even straight from the return of surf, so much pressure on Li Shi Feng. Yeah. 
that smash is total perfection. No, it's, no one's getting that back. Do you think? Can you show him? Thank you. in going for the lines, going for their shots. Thank you. and then he steps in for the kill. Wade Anderson moves the full diagonal of the court. Who's going to have the advantage at the change of ends? So the answer is Amos Antonsen. 11 10 interval, change ends. Well, it could not be closer. There has to be at least one point in it. That's all there is. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Coaches, return to your chairs. to command the rallies and dictate the pace. Eleven ten, deciding game. Oh, What's I think that? that's worth a challenge. Lee Shi Feng challenges. Go Broke the strings out. of his racket with that smash, and that's possibly why he didn't control it. Well, uh, it was just long. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. I don't think Antonson has made a challenge all match, has he?
Hutchinson. 11, I do think the accuracy has reduced. He was, I mean, he wasn't hitting line every time, but I just think now it's it's almost just an arm's width away from uh, Anders. I just feel the tension either in Li Shi Feng or the fatigue. Something is playing a part with his attack. It's nowhere near as um, the quality has dipped. So it's over. Yeah, not as tensioned, not as accurate. That's understandable. We've been on court for an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, that's super. Well, Chris, whoever comes through this match, you've got to think about the final tomorrow because the former champion, Xi Uchi, won his semi-final in just 43 minutes, two straight games, 19 and 13. And of course, these two players will have eight hours less recovery time in comparison to Li uh, Xi Uchi. Yeah, and that makes a massive difference. And I mean, especially if it's Anders. I mean, he's beat after this game, however long it takes. If he does manage to win this, he will have been on court for what feels like eternity. You know, he's going to have so much fatigue in his body. Nice. And short. Yeah. Service over. This is the decisive move. 16, I do think for me, it goes back to the point I made before the match started in regards to will Li Shi Feng, will he feel the nerves? Will he feel the pressure? And when he got a bit closer, let's say, to the to the end goal, I've got to say full credit to Anders in the second game. He did up his level dramatically, but I do think also Li Shi Feng went he went a bit basic, he went a bit simple. Um, and now, for me, these errors are just creeping in.
it wide. This is far from over. Yeah. Honestly, a couple of moments ago, I thought it was a decisive lead for Antonsen. I do think it's the right serve from uh, Li Feng because I do think Anders is controlling the first three or four shots of the rally. He's very dominant. part of the second game. I mean, Anders did incredibly 16. well to get that shot back a few shots ago where he's in trouble in his forehand. It's a brilliant, brilliant way to end the rally. The tension is just building. so early on this, he's just fully committed, 100% committed on that. Produced. And a moment ago, we were saying that his attacking play wasn't as potent, wasn't as accurate. Yes. He sharpened up again. Yeah, he's played two rallies, I think, out maybe the last four, and he's basically, you know, he's told me to be quiet, I think, by those, because incredible shots. We had the ladies' singles earlier that was absolutely sublime, and it's like the men are trying to outdo them, because this is just getting better and better. Look at Anders' base to return serve here. He's so high up the court. Yeah. into the lead.
Australia. Service over. Amanda's base in the rally is so high. Working so hard to try and get that lift. He can get behind and when he does, that is an incredible attack. Gets the high lift and then incredible. Stay on court. 18 over. are the most important of the whole match. from both of them. Two match Anders. point opportunities. Lucy Feng. Play. close out the match and at his first all England Lee Schiefen reaches the final yeah. one hour and 33 minutes match won by Lee Schiefen 21-11, 19 21 18 Well, that is remarkable. 12-16 down. Nine of 11 points. And I thought that at 16-12, Anna Zantensen had made a decisive move. Well, you just never know with sport, do you? a terrific win singles what a terrific day we've had on semi-final Saturday and this is the final rally there was a slight slip there from Lee A disappointment for Anna Zantensen, his third All England semi final, and the third time 
that he has failed to progress through to the final. Well, he's got one more match to play. Confirmation of the scoreline 21 11, 19 21, 21 18 in the deciding game. The Chief Fan is through to the final of the All England men's singles. Well, that concludes the semi-finals for today and we know the order of play for tomorrow and we're going to be starting with women's doubles it's an all korean affair and kim and kong the world championship silver medalist and olympic bronze medalist take on bake ha na and lee so he who are looking for a second title in two consecutive weeks. Then it's mixed doubles and Sheng Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong, former All England champions and reigning and three-time world champions, take on the two left-handers from Korea, So Seong Jae and Che Yu Jung. Then it's women's singles and the Olympic chem champion Chen Wufei takes on Ang Se Young in her second consecutive All England final. Then men's doubles and Alfie and Anadianto, the world number ones in an all Indonesian affair against Asan and Setiawan, two time former champions in their fourth All England final. And then we will finish with men's singles and the gold medalist from the Youth Olympic Games. Li Shifeng in his first All England is through to the final to play against the former champion, his teammate, Shi Wu Chi, who won the All England title in 2018. That's all for tomorrow, and it all starts at 10 a.m. local time, which is also 1000 GMT. Do join us tomorrow. It should be a terrific game, a ma a set of matches. But in the meantime, from all of us here, and especially from Chris Langridge and myself, Jill Clark, bye for now.